Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Frostmunk Let's Play as we will continue a new scenario on Extreme Difficulty. We have done a new home and the last autumn so far, and we're moving on to the fall of winter home. So this one is a bit tricky and it's actually one of the few scenarios that we did on medium that we didn't actually get to completely finish. We weren't able to get the full dreadnought prepared uh, for the full evacuation. So a little bit of regret on the normal run. Now we're going to do it on stream. Hopefully we can solve that problem. It's going to be quite hard because we're inheriting quite the mess and we're going to be bumping this up and wish us luck. To whoever is out there, if anyone, know that we were here, we did our best. We, the survivors, doomed by our own mistakes, aware of the risks and the price to pay. We took our last chance. And we failed. Alrighty, welcome to the fall of Winter Home. Our generator is malfunctioning. After our leader ignored the problem for weeks, unbearable cold and brutal repression drove us to rise up against him. He didn't go down without a fight. Half the city was burned to the ground in the fighting. With the generator hastily patched up, your first task as the new leader is to restore Winter Home and convince people it has a future. Then you'll be able to investigate the cause of the generator malfunctions. So multiple steps here. There's actually more steps that they're not sharing right now. Since we played through this once, we kind of know what's coming up. So right off the bat, we inherit a city on fire. Most of the city is in ruins. We have a huge population and a very unhappy populace that we have to correct. So as we load in here, our first task is to restore the city. And that has multiple parts. Uh, turn the generator on, remove at least 30 ruins, hope rise to 50, discontent drop to 25. Uh, multiple steps, we'll get to each of one of them. Uh, we can start by signing a law. Um, because we have sick people, uh, in particular 11 gravely ill people, if I don't sign some sort of medical law on the first go, they will die. So we don't want that. And between the two, we really can't afford sustained life. And as a matter of fact, we can't even uh, do radical treatment right now, but we could probably work the public house, have that dip a little, and then sign it. Right, so now our medical post will treat those that are gravely ill, but there's 30% chance they will become amputees. That is a 30% that I'm very willing to take. Um, better amputee than dead, we can build them limbs later on. We have a few medical posts, I think there's actually four. There's one more over here, but I'm going to keep them concentrated in this area. Uh, just more efficient that way. We have plenty of engineers, 59 for that matter. All of them will be working into medical tents here. Another five into our workshop, which will focus on faster gathering because we need to gather all this stuff so we can build on them. This is a total mess. And now that we have signed a law, I can mess up the discontent as much as I want. And we're going to go very extreme here on the first day. What we're going to do is we're going to do a massive teardown of the existing buildings. Um, so this is a hunter lodge. It's gone. I don't want to hear next to, you know, the outpost and the beacons, which doesn't need to be heated. All the steam hub that they built, super inefficient. Those are gone. Thumper, gathering post, steel work are going to stay. They will be part of the manufacturing here. This is another coal mine. So these, these broken structure are where the coal mine will eventually go. And that's another steel. I think there's another coal right here. This will be heavily industry for us. And uh, we are going to create a homeless situation. So these guys who just worked there, I don't want you guys working there anymore. I don't need you to cook here. 
all these houses, even if they are bunk houses, are going to go. I want everyone to be homeless at the beginning with the hope of them complaining to me that they're home. I think that's a hunter's hut. Uh, we'll keep the workshop, of course. And the reason why it's... Think of it as the beginning of a game. That's a gathering post, I think. But it doesn't gather any of the ruins, so I'm going to get rid of it. Hunting... We don't have to hunt till day two, day three-ish. That thumper's not... This is going to be our living space. So if we look at the map, the south part of the town is where all the damage is, right? This will take a long time for us to get through. Probably three days. Um, this part has a few damage area, but this area here is very empty and this little space here and that's it so we have only these space to work with in the beginning and i'm going to put this space as temporary shelter for our citizens and this place as temporary medical facility for our citizens before clearing up the space around the generator and we'll work from there uh, we do have quite a bit of different things already signed we'll review all of that and all our law as soon i think that's a cookhouse yeah, those, those, these are all gone i don't want to keep any of them right now we might undo some of them it's not that you know we will definitely keep all these things destroyed but i'm gonna start by just clearing everything it's just easier to put in the commands like this yeah even these i'm gonna get rid of even though they could easily be heated it's just better off if we get everyone vacated and hopefully complaining about the fact that they're vacated all right all 580 are out of their place we have crushed every single building I'm sure discontent will be through the roof and they'll give us the mission to, you know, reduce it to 75% in two days. Gathering posts are going to be kids play shop. We're going to... I could have kids do thumpers too. Yeah, why not? And the kids can work the steel work. Actually, I don't know. I have so many workers. It's fine. The kids can just do the gathering posts. It's considered a safe job anyways. These are not considered a safe job. Obviously, we have signed all jobs or else they can't do it. Uh, we went with snow pit, radical treatment. We're going to go overcrowding next. Uh, that's clearly the right choice. Fighting arena into public house. We have a choice between prayer and neighborhood watch. The first time we did this, we went neighborhood watch because at the time I did prayers for a new home, then came here and had the option. So I decided to check out the other one. We're going to do the opposite, of course, just to keep things different and, uh, surprise myself and challenge myself i don't know why i did it i'm thinking about what happened in uh, the last autumn that was kind of brutal going workers but that's gonna be what we will do we'll build churches instead of uh, watchtowers because if we build watchtowers we can stick to the build that we had in a new home where we just do one ring even though i believe they have the second ring researched yeah they do but the one ring build plus the steam hub is super efficient um and we could do that with the spacing for a fighting pit plus a watchtower. Now we're going to have to play around with a different setup because we'll be using chapels, which are bigger buildings than watchtowers. So we're going to have to play around with our uh, configuration there and figure it out. Now that we're dismantling every building, we also need to start dismantling all the roads because it's absolutely hideous. I don't need that. We do need a road to connect to the outpost team. We do need a road to connect to the beacon. We are planning to work these, but we're not working any of these anytime soon because they haven't dismantled those buildings yet. So these roads can go away. I think we can kill it to here. We're going to work this steel work, so we're going to keep that. All these roads can be gone, I believe. And our wood will fly. Okay, so before we go on anymore, we have over 40 wood, which is a crucial number because we can order some scouts and we can look at the map real quick after we come out of the road building. This scout is going to go to the weather station. There are 20 engineers who can provide us weather here. We kept them there in our first run because I wanted to know the weather. But now that we know the weather technically, and you can look it up online, of course, um, I need those engineers to come back and be doctors. So that's their first job. 82 people that have died are people who have died from the battle or the fighting inside Winterholm. I didn't kill them, but we have to take care of their bodies. The outpost team here can actually do a lot of work for us. 
similar to what we did in the last autumn where the forage team set up, had the transport out, and then went exploring, the outpost team can't interact with any of them, but they can scout them for us. So for example, if I want my scout to go here, if I scout with my outpost team right now, by the time he comes down, he already know the route and the travel time will be shortened. So he doesn't have anything to do sitting there while the transport makes a round trip. Might as well have him come out and explore some of the closest places and then send him back. So that should be fine. All right, back to crushing roads because we need the wood from all these roads. And uh, we're keeping this, this area because I said we were going to make hospitals here. And we're probably going to heat it. So this, this can be gone. We're probably going to heat it here cover all this and potentially more hospital beds and we'll just give up this region here maybe some uh hunting huts up here we'll see how it fits later um, but they all need to connect to the center of course so we need to have one road that connects them somewhere which means these don't have to be here and it looks just so bad there is a i think that is their snow pit right there it's obviously not in a great place but we can't tear this down until we have an alternative snow pit. Snow pits are free. Um, I I believe we can put it put it right behind this outpost area. If we just do some guide roads here, we should be able to sneak one in right there. Yep. And of course, we need to keep a road connected to it. So it's gonna have to waste a few of our roads, but. I'd rather put the snow pit here than over there, and then we never have to heat this area, basically. And that can be teared down once we do get the roads figured out for that one. But in the meantime, I'm going to isolate it so it doesn't have any road going to it. So none of the bodies can be here. It's not a big deal, but I just prefer all the bodies going to one place. I don't think we need any of these roads because this will connect to that. So this is kind of our main branch and everything is coming out from that. This is not needed. I know this is outpost. Okay, so he's going to have to connect to the branches on this side then. I'm trying to preserve as much of the existing road as possible. While trying to extract as much wood as possible for our use. All right, we're gonna work these, go chop trees. We work that one, we're tearing both of these down. This side is a mess. Um, we're keeping this road, but we don't need the connection here. Nor do we need anything on this side, to be honest. I mean, we might have to end up building some of these roads back when we build gathering posts, but right now that is not our concern. We just need to tidy this up real quick. And since we're tearing these down, uh, I think I need to keep that road. That is like similar to that. It's kind of the road that comes out and plus it's straight. So in the future, when we are planning our city to look beautiful again, we can use that. But right now, all these gotta go. And this way allow us to plan out our city a little bit more efficiently. Alright, so I think I'm going to get rid of these as well. That road I'm keeping. We got enough wood from just tearing down roads to put up our wall drill, which is super important. That is how we're going to get wood. And we're going to obviously connect that to something, most likely to this branch here. I'm probably going to get rid of that. We're we getting rid of that. Wait, we weren't getting rid of anything, but this is probably going to go. That might not go. I'm going to keep this ring. This is going to be my kind of main road up here. 
and we're going to probably put a sawmill right here given that the size works out just fine just to cut some of these wood we have you know workers we have plenty of workers so we need to get them working but the rest of this should be all tents okay so you don't need to actually get demolished congratulations although we're gonna keep it paused um, I want them to have the feeling of homelessness so they can ask me please build us some houses and we can do that and perhaps earn some hope artificially producing despair to get hope okay that seems good what is this Alright, a lot of this we have to wait till we finish the teardown to take a look again to see where we want the roads to be. I'm fairly sure I don't want the road to be here. This is most likely the ring. This road's probably bad too. So is this. Alright, we will build our own heaters though for the hospitals. We have three here, potentially want to build more. This will work. That way we don't have to turn on the heaters for them. That's something we will build. We need to turn on this thing. Sort of, I guess. I can turn on range one. Steam one. When he turns on a little bit, I can do that. Well, the, the steam hub, the only, this is the only one that's going to benefit from that right now, but that's the one we need. We turn that on, turn off three heaters. I think it's worth it. And the resources that we have... Actually, let's just wait. No one's working anyways. This, this nighttime is all about teardowns. We used the steam core, no big deal. We have 24, 6 still, 15 went in there, we need a lot more. Can I? Yeah, that's going to be in the range. Let me start building them. Does it not have a road? No, it's just too cold. Okay, that's fine. That's what we want. People are extremely angry and uh, we have time to fix it. Everyone go do the teardowns. That is on. We'll overdrive and the heating. And start building hospitals. We're gonna need a bunch. Alright, these all cleared. Now we're going to build a couple free, non-heated workshops. So this one doesn't have to be... Well, we want to heat it. <laughs> Forgot about them. We're approaching 8 o'clock. This has no road. We can't accept that. Yeah, a lot of these will have no roads yet, but they will get fixed. These are all working, right? Yes. Now we also want to put in gathering post. Ooh, so much stuff. Um, to gather these, nonsense. That's a good place. That's a good place. Yeah, we're gonna need more. We're gonna try to build them on existing road networks so we don't have to build roads for them, but that's not always gonna be feasible. And look at our wood supply it just suddenly exploded. It's okay, I'm gonna just put in a bunch of house orders because we have so many homeless.
more. These ruins. Um, can I get another? Would like to speed these up. Do we not have road? No, it's under construction. Good. Uh, there's some spaces here. I don't know if this road is good, though. That's the thing. I need them to be torn down for me to know if I want to build it there. I can go... I can heat this, too. I can go three wide. I can go taller. Then we wouldn't want to build here. Well, that's a gathering post being torn down, right? Okay. Make sure we're working whatever we have. We are missing roads. We need to make sure the wood is not an issue where we're stacking it. Maybe we dump one of these. That will solve a lot of problems. Now who cares about the trees? That also doesn't need to get heated. Okay. We know we're doing three rolls of houses here. This is currently being blocked. I could probably just send kids in there. That done. I mean, this is really what we need, more gathering posts and probably what I should actually be building here. I don't think I can fit this guy in until we get more things cleared. Unfortunately, just paying attention to the wood, it's overflowing. And it's going to slow all our activities down. I think we end up building houses on the top row. And we just heat this as well, because the sawmill is useful too. shape. Maybe I don't agree with this needing to be here. That way I can connect some roads down. This is probably more efficient. And I can get rid of this main road in the middle once we do get there. Yeah, no need to actually build the houses yet. You guys need to chill. There's still so much to tear down. Everyone can be homeless for the day. Not a big deal. The tear down should continue, but the building should not. Alright, kids go in. Engineers go in. Problem is, we have so much wood right now. Alright, you cleared it. You're almost cleared. 
want to get rid of this road, but I can't because then they can't work. Well, actually, they're not even built yet. I want to get rid of this road and probably this road as well. And the idea is we want to see how many we can put here. And obviously we're going to pause all of them. We'll do a count soon. Alright, the hospital and the fighting pits are gone. Pause. Pause. Dismantling a tent. Oh. We we do want you dismantled, but we want you paused. Pause. We're trying to keep everyone homeless. On purpose. Kids. Kids. Doctors. Doctors. Four. Because we want them pumping. Give us faster gathering. Kids. 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 I think this is a good wood storage as well. Might even need more than this. Nothing's getting cleared on this part. These spacing is just terrible. Yeah, I give up. Nothing I can do about that. Road-wise, nothing's linking this to this. Alright, let's start modeling this. We can heat about four rolls. I want to heat the sawmill. Well, sawmill is temporary. I can build this here. Then I need to build this here. Okay, this road can be much longer. Give that a road. Why is that one taking forever? Whoa. This last house is uh, rather wide. That's rather inefficient. Can we not fit two more houses here? Okay, we cannot. So that means the road is going to go like this instead. And that never happened. I think I might be able to fit four here if that gets destroyed. One, two, uh, it's a little bit overlapped, but I think it's probably fine. It's 
still hoping that they beg me for housing. The road is coming. Is that a... That's taken down, right. Do I want to heat all of these? I don't think I have that much coal. Well, he's waiting to come in and dump coal on us because we don't have it below 100. Alright, we're going to run them. Kids, you guys are going to enjoy these. That's not on yet. Lacking road. Ah, uh, road's coming. So he found us that there's steam cores here. Go look at the dreadnought for us. He's still going to the weather station. And this guy's still not loaded yet because... I can do this, actually. Let him load. Oh, the road's not done yet. The road's... Come on. Someone come here, build the road. Do less harm. Sir, so doctor want to talk about improving radical treatment. I was a field surgeon in the Boer War. I worked on the Royal Society to reduce the rate of limb loss in army hospitals. What does he need? Oh, he needs a break to find out how to... Yeah. Do less damage. That's fine. I mean, we have enough patients right now. Our doctors and patient ratio is fine. All right, we're having a lot of wood again. I'm gonna throw some kids in there. They, they're gonna be cold, I do realize that, but Hmm, that's fair. Do we want to build up or do we want to build down? That is a good question. And also I can probably do something like this, cover this entire area. I think we should start on this side. Because this is where we're at the edge of the map already. I think we build down. We can cut those trees. I think this is where we want to put it. Right here. It covers all these, which means starting here, this one might be have to be a little bit higher up. One down, one up, one down? Maybe that might be the solution. But then we should probably start up because then we can cover some of these workplaces too. Right now we're trying to get that house covered, which means, oh yeah, I'm lost again. We are putting it here, and we want it here. Here. So we need like one road here, I think.
I think that works. I'm also going to have to wait until they plead for heat from me. And... Oh, dear. I think it's still 3 tenths regardless of what happens with this road. But looking at that we have this road here, I don't need these road inside. That's what we should get rid of, this line right here, because it could mess up the way the length works. And that also means this generator is going to give us plenty of heat going up. All right, we can build some houses on this row. So let's just extend that road. How many houses do we have queued up? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Half of what we need. <laughs> Half of what we need. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5. Can you guys hurry up? You know, we really want these done. And also the ones right next to the generator that are currently getting heated, they can be worked on. Does that one count? No. Okay. It's going to be three houses. The reason why I'm building down is because I, I think I can get a generator to cover all of these here. I just don't know where to start. But with this zone... Something like this? I guess that's not covered, but we'll figure something out over here. Also, you guys need to be paused. How is the road still not connected yet? No one's coming here. To, there we go. All right, he dropped it. Now we change to wood. Snow pit still not connected yet. There's but the body's gonna get moved over. Okay. It's not the last one anymore. Oh, no one built it yet. Good. He reached. There's food rations here. Now he needs to go back to coal mine to uh, set up the next transport. And we hit the weather station. There are survivors here who are... Uh, the weather station is manned by several engineers who use an array of instruments to monitor the air temperature, wind force, and direction, and atmospheric pressure changes. On the basis of this data, they prepare weather forecasts. We could use these engineers in the city to help with the generator, but if we close the weather station, we'll lose the weather forecast. Well, it's going to get, it's going to keep getting colder. I can tell you that much, says the chief meteorologist. And we're going to bring them back. We need them. We're going to get sick this night for sure, and uh, they're going to complain about the sickness. And we're going to take care of that. Not tense. What am I doing? I want more medical facilities because we're bringing back the doctors. And when is faster gathering going to be done? The coal is stopped because, you know, obviously we have too much coal. But I'm burning as many heaters as I can, so don't see how that should be an issue. All right, we have a ton of gathering posts. I think we can stop here for now. Um, we'll come back and we'll continue. 
we should be fine the first night. Usually I think it's like over a hundred people who get sick. We should be able to pick up overcrowding soon. And we're gonna build out all the houses. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, they complain though. That's really what I wanna see. Seven hours, there's not enough work days to get these done. So we're gonna just build the houses around them. This one's gonna be three houses anyways. Um, we're gonna basically have everyone heated soon. We're still overdriving, that's fine. And no more weather forecast, but I'm gonna know the weather ahead of time anyways. So it's all good. We'll come back and we'll pick up the mess. Hopefully next time we'll be able to clean up all this. Uh, a bit tall task. And then we can start shifting our residential with nice bunk houses or houses uh, back closer to the generator. Right now, everyone's just in a refugee camp in the aftermath of this civil war here in Winterholm. So until next time, bye.